Hello everyone, please welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you the series. Sir, this is ML63, and this is year model 2013. And uh, I'm having issue that while driving, all of a sudden the coolant light came on and says coolant low. I opened the hood. Once I checked it, and I've noticed that uh, the coolant hose has been cracked. The hose is uh, connected uh, from a water pump to the line and that one is crack and I'm going to show you how to fix it and it's very easy and it's simple to fix it and uh, let's get started so if we see that the check coolant level while driving uh, this is what happened the coolant light came on once I came home and I checked it and uh, I found the problem I went to the dealership and I got the part pipe and uh, this is the coolant line which goes from water pump to the line very easy you can do it yourself and if you look at right now see this is how it is sprayed all over and that's where I found out now I received the part and I'm going to show you how we can replace it See the water is coming. That's the water the pipe is broken right there. Turn it off. And that's what I wanted to show it to you. Original OEM part, and uh, this is where it crack, and uh, this is whole thing is uh, open. So we basically need to open a couple of screws, and uh, then it will get connected right there. The first step will be going in to remove the air vents. So basically we're going to remove uh, everything, all the hoses. This is a very easy, simple, you can do it. Use the screwdriver and uh, just spray it off. And keep it on the side. And same thing, this one. Okay. So after opening these, uh, there is not enough room, so we're going to remove the radiator fan. So we're going to open the hoses and uh, get a plier. And uh, with the plier, you just squeeze it, just like that, and you pull it back, the clamp. And now we can uh, use a straight screwdriver, since the hoses are sitting for a long period of time. So it's a good idea to remove everything, whatever comes in the way. clamp and we're going to keep the hose on the side only reason we are moving these so we have enough room so we can work number two hose we're going to open that as well when you take out the hose clamp you put it down and never take it out you can lose it this way it will stay there now we're going to pry it and if it's a little hard then use a straight screwdriver that will come out so there is one clip and one clip we open that one so we're going to keep it here and we're going to open uh, this uh, the small holes which is connected all the way the coolant reservoir this is the hose we're going to make sure that this is very brittle so it's very easy to take it out you just pop the pin up and that's it as you heard and it's very easily it comes out and push the pin back so it won't drop and then we're going to open just like that and one clamp on this side Use a straight screwdriver. It will come out. And then push the pin back. And on this, this one is the same way. Push the pin out. Then it will fly out. Just like that. And now we open it and then press it. As you see, this whole assembly come out. And just leave it up here. Now we're going to remove number four hose. So 
we're going to pull number four hose okay and now we have enough room we can move this hose on that mm -hmm. side and keep the other hose as well so this is the part which we're going to change it so now we have enough room that we can uh, slide the hand but it's a good idea that we remove the fan so now we're going to take out the fan As you seen, we open uh, the driver side and this is the passenger side. So this is how you open it. You press it and it opens up. So there is electrical wire, electrical connection that we need to remove it. You need to press it and pull it out. We need to remove the clips and there's one more. Once, uh, we're going to pull it, now we can remove the wire again. There's another clip at the bottom. After removing these two clips, we need to remove this holes. You don't want to force anything, so whatever the way is easier. So this one has a clip. You pull the pin out and the hose will come. Just like that. Uh, we need to put it on the side. That's it. The reason we removed this hose because it was hitting right there. So now we can pull it out. See now it can move out freely. So that's how you remove the radiator fan. So if you look at at the bottom, this one goes into the slot and the one on the other side also goes on slot. So now we're going to remove those two screws and one screw at the top. So three screws. Now we're going to use the socket number eight. And we're going to remove it. So we're going to remove it. That's where the hose is broken. So this is the long bolt. See that's where the hose is broken. So use a plier and uh, this is the part. We took it out. And that's the bolt. And now we're going to remove the other side. The other side has the two screws. So these two screws we're going to remove which is right there. We're going to remove that hose, so we're going to press it with the clamp. Now we're going to remove these two screws. So these are the two bolts we're going to remove it. This one also takes number eight socket. We're going to remove it so it's easier that we can work with. So basically we're going to get a little leverage just like this. These are the two bolts we took it out, and this one uh, required T30. And now, 
and this is the assembly we're going to pull it out. This was the broken one and the whole hose is broken off and that's the other side. So this is the new hose and we're going to put it back. So we're going to open it and the same thing with the cap. So now we're going to put it back. right inside and you just press it so you see it's seated nicely and the holes are aligned with those for the those two screws and this is the top side so now we're going to put those uh, screws back in a reverse order and uh, we're going to tighten them so I just wanted to say one thing that don't over tight um, because this is plastic you can crack it and on um, the top one we can put the screw back again. This is the top one, the last. Once you put the bolt, use uh, number eight socket and just tighten it and down over time. So now we're going to connect the hose. So we're going to press the clamp once it's open and just uh, push it from the back and it will slide in. Now the next step will be put the radiator fan back and this one uh, you just have to wiggle it. I want to see the train inside and you press it, the locks and we'll... and as you see it went inside. So that's how you put the radiator fan. So this is the power connector. Make sure the power connector is nicely fully inserted and uh, it locks in. And uh, basically that's it. We're going to put these, take out the in and then press it in and once it goes inside all the way and we're going to press it and it locks up. When you put the clip, put it on the side because now we're going to insert this hose. So start from there, pop up on the pin, and once it goes inside, now that's it. That's it. Excuse me, locks in, put it inside, and on this side, same thing. Lift the pin. And press it in, and that locks in. And now the other side, pop it from the pin. Once it's open, push it in, and lock it. That's it. The next step is the 
this holes and we're going to put it down. We're going to use the clamp. That's it. So now I'm going to connect the vents. We just insert it in. Basically, it snaps in, and on the other side. So this is the locking tab that goes inside the hole, and uh, this is uh, the hole goes into the stone. So make sure that you align it, and that's it. and that's it we all done we're going to top off the coolant the final step will be the house cleaning as you see all sprayed all over so I'm going to clean it later on as you can see there is no more light that's all is easy if your hose is broken and you can replace it yourself So as I shown you on the instrument panel, the light is uh, gone. After topping off, I drove it and I fill up again. You make sure here in the system, make sure that you take it out. And uh, that's how it's easy you replace yourself. You can save a lot of money. And I'm sure if you take this one to dealership, then they will save one to two day job. And it will cost you over a thousand dollars easily. And by doing it yourself, whatever the part costs you. It's uh, like $76, and that was it. I'm going to share with you another DIY projects, and like always, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye-bye.